hello and welcome to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel and you're seeing me for the first time or you're watching any of my videos for the first time please don't forget to click the subscribe button and even if you've watched my video over time and you've not subscribed please just do well to subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell so you're notified when i post new videos so i'm going to be doing a topic why do nigerians actually prefer to live in ghana i'm doing this topic or i'm doing this video because in one of my videos i saw somebody actually comment and say we have over seven million nigerians living in ghana and it was kind of shocking to me like seven million and i actually need this to be clarified because i'm like do you mean seven million nigerians are over seven million nigerians have passed through the airport they maybe have their passport stamped or something or over the years like whether for visits whether for relocation and all that or you mean currently living like they are living not vacation or no visit or something i need that to be clarified please like somebody who is very very conversant with it please kindly clarify for me but i'm doing this topic because i needed to like maybe explain why you know, some nigerians live here than they live in nigeria i needed to do this so that there's actually nothing to be worried about like I'm, i thought we are we are within the ECOWAS sub region so i think some things can easy you know don't take it out on us like don't take it out on a lot of nigerians you see you know i know there's a wrong perception people have about nigerians and i'll call it wrong perception because like i say that somebody does something wrong does not mean you generalize um, no like like maybe even in ghana here that somebody from a tribe does something wrong or maybe two or three persons from a tribe does not mean you not generalize that everybody from that tribe is bad even in my comment section i get to see people you know tell me no it's not like that it's not like this i understand every one of you very well but sometimes it's also good to understand why people do the with things they do everybody always just generalize that it's because of bad government bad government is why nigerians are leaving but there are americans who live here there are chinese who live here there are people from very you no know, very good economy who still live here so i don't think it's totally about bad governance though sometimes it is sometimes work could bring somebody here because yeah work what could bring somebody to live in your country and i actually i bet some a couple of nigerians too, too who also work here like because we have a lot of nigerian companies here and they bring in people from nigeria to work here maybe not totally maybe they have up to like 50 staff and they have people they have to bring people from nigeria to fix things up for them so that the culture of maybe their country continue or the culture of a company continues here you know i know a lot of banks almost all nigerian banks are here in ghana so yes are they employing Ghanaians? yes of course they have to employ Ghanaians, but they still have to maybe there are some maybe in tech the area of tech and some things that they have to bring people from the country to come and get it fixed you know to come and get a lot of things fixed in their company here so when we just generalize and feel maybe everybody leaving nigeria is leaving nigeria because of bad government it's not totally true some could be work some could be they just want a better life some could be they just want to change environment with all i said i'll mention some couple of things i feel those who maybe you might categorize in the and uh, they're living in my country blah 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 you know i'm gonna just quickly talk about them and number one would be electricity you know yes everybody knows that electricity in nigeria is not 24 hours like 24 hours 247 you know what i mean by that so when i sometimes get to also see some nigerians they say and eh, they just light they just need that light they want to you know they 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 so <laughs> imagine people can relocate for something as little as light but i don't actually blame them because in as much as i don't try to like totally rule that out i don't totally rule it out because there are places you even live in nigeria that have up to 20 to 22 hours of light but it's not everywhere you know so because of this now somebody might decide that mm, okay since there's light in ghana you know it's karma here the population is not as much as ours let me move down here you might be wondering yeah mm, is that enough is it enough reason you know, to for some people because i've seen Ghana who comment on my uh, some of my videos and they tell me oh they are Ghanaians and they live in the uk and they live in the us you know so you can't totally stop people from moving around now why are they moving better life definitely like i just want a better life or sometimes change of environment like i've lived in africa let me move to another continent and see what it feels like there right so you can't totally blame those who who like tell you okay because of this let me move like let me just move and it's close like 
it's close to me like we are i'm, a, I'm within the sub region i've actually seen a comment where somebody asked me so why is it ghana nigerians are moving to and i will answer that too because we are english speaking country Benin republic is beside us to uh, togo is beside nigeria but those countries are not english speaking so it's the uh, the turnout of nigerians coming here will actually be higher because it's an english speaking country so electricity to me is very very important you know you do business your business is actually running on lights and you know that the the irony of all this thing is there are places in nigeria like rural area especially that actually have lights than the city and sometimes i get to wonder okay why is this like this okay I'm like okay because they don't actually have, they don't use lights that much it's just their bulb some of them don't even have fridge they don't have refrigerator they don't have all these things so maybe the lights allocated to that area is just little and they can manage it they can manage it all year round you know so you get to see a lot of rural areas have lights than um the urban areas but urban all the companies the businesses so many things are there and they ration this light they ration it maybe this area and all that and all that and all that of course that's left to the government to kind of help improve in electricity so electricity is one of the reasons why nigerians move here it might sound very but that's it so my number two reason why i feel nigerians move down to ghana is security security in the sense that you'll be wondering security so you, your country is not secure that's not what i'm saying funny enough a lot of people actually just generalize again because when you just hear something about a place or maybe you hear of one crime or the other yeah or one um killing or the other most of these things are actually in the northern part of nigeria northern part of nigeria not lagos you know most of our uh, cosmopolitan cities actually don't have most of this terrorism thing we get to hear in the media but of course you know when people hear something they become so scared you know and they don't want to visit at all but i've seen a lot of people who visit nigeria and tell them that oh it's totally different from what they hear in the media so security in the sense that because of the kind of things we keep here you know people just say oh, let me run let me just go and stay in a place that might be a little bit safer than where i am but how many nigerians actually get to see this crime or this um, insecurity that we keep talking about just a few just a few but of course you know what media can do to you now they instill fear in you so because of that a lot of people will just say no let me just leave let me just leave so insecurity is another reason for me people are scared of crime people are scared of a lot of things even here too i still get to see people you know a little bit does not like scared like scared in the sense that oh have you locked your gate did you leave your gate open your fence why is your fence like this like my compound is it has electric fence around it so in as much as it's um safer here people are still very very conscious of their security but it's not the same with nigeria definitely you know and like in a city like lagos now yes you get to hear of some kind of maybe crime theft you know and pickpockets and all that which is like common it's common everywhere it's not about just lagos you know but when i'm talking about insecurity like bombing and all that please i need to say this this is head of mostly in the northern part of nigeria and even in northern part of nigeria just two states two states but you know what media does we have 19 northern states and out of 19 northern states only two states actually has this a recurrent insurgence of bombing um, and all that and all that don't get me wrong there are cases of kidnapping there are cases of um other things but there's still a lot of nigerians who are comfortable living in nigeria i must tell you yes there are a lot and there are still a lot who are also not comfortable they're like okay let me just go get a better life somewhere else a lot of people don't always like it when i mention the population factor but it's a factor because the demand is not meeting up with the supply yes so that's still a, um, a population factor thing when demand for something is not meeting up with the supply people are going to look and so the competition is very very high in this education sector competition is high you can see a school that can accommodate only 500 students 19,000 students are applying you know you can see a job opportunity that wants only 10 people 15,000 people are applying so the demand is not meeting up to the supply so when the competition like is too much it makes it look too hectic for a lot of people so they want to just look for somewhere else where they can get that better life one thing can make somebody relocate from one country to the other i'm telling you i've seen that happen before somebody can just say yeah, let me relocate because of my child's education you know some somebody can say 
I need a better job. You know, somebody can just say, I just want to have a feel of what another country feels like. So people have their different preferences. People have their different reasons for moving. It's just like Chinese. A lot of Chinese, the economy is good. They have good economy. But a lot of them, they are Chinese everywhere in the world. They are everywhere in the world. Same thing with Americans. You know, you can't totally say it's just bad government. Though in the in the Nigerian factor, everybody knows it's the bad government thing that makes Nigerians just want to look for something else, you know. But I must tell you, a lot of Nigerians are making a lot of money in that country because where you get to find a lot of problems, you need to solve it. So in solving it now, you're making serious money. So that's why you can see an average youth in Nigeria already making some good millions for themselves, you know, because the economy is hard, actually. But when you're solving that problem, you're making good money. So, for example, you have maybe a community of just 500,000 people and a community of 10,000 people. You make money from a community of 500,000 people than a community of 10,000 people. So that's what people don't always understand in some of these things. They just feel, eh, Nigeria is bad, Nigeria is bad, Nigeria is bad. But I must tell you, they love youths doing it so well in that country. Entrepreneurship is something, you might imagine being an entrepreneur in Nigeria and you are selling a product or the other. So you can imagine the number of people that are going to patronize that business, especially when it's something they need, not necessarily want, you know. Of course, when you're going into business, go for what people need, not what people want. These are my points, like electricity, security, and just a better life. A better life in sense of maybe peace of mind, because if you're living in Lagos, and this is another point for me, because most Nigerians who leave Nigeria to Ghana actually live in Lagos, and Lagos is densely populated. It's stressful living in Lagos because Lagos is like the you know commercial hub of Nigeria. But there are a lot of cities that are you know, so good to live in. There are a lot of Nigerians just prefer, okay, if I can't make it in this Lagos, let me actually go somewhere else. But it's not totally true because Port Harcourt is there, Abuja is there, Owere is there, Imo State is there, there's Uyo, there's Calabar. There are a lot of places you can live in that they don't even stress themselves. Lagos, 4 a.m. is like... 10 a.m. in some cities in Nigeria. Yes. Port Harcourt is somewhere you can wake up 6.30 and get to work 7.30. But you can't try that in Lagos. Lagos, you must wake up like 4 a.m., leave your house 4.30 to be able to get to your office before 8 a.m. If if you get if you stay in your house till 5 a.m., I can bet you, you're going to be getting to your office like maybe 9, 10 a.m. So that the city is like that does not mean the whole of Nigeria is like that. Do you get it? Lagos is just the city that you get to have that stress. So you can actually also get a better life in other cities in Nigeria. There, there are a lot of cities there who are not busy. They're not as busy as Lagos. All that Lagos, hustle and bustle, all the insecurity you get to talk about in Lagos. They've not heard it before. Like, it's not all their business, you know. Uh, the, even the better life you can make the money in Lagos and enjoy it in another state but of course people have their preferences they want to feel okay let me go let me go somewhere else let me go somewhere else to go and enjoy my life and going somewhere else could be another country so i think that's why somehow when nigerians make all the money in nigeria they, they just say okay let me come to ghana and just have some stay let me come and rest to a, a week or two you know let me just come and have some time in ghana but but do you believe that even with all the Nigerians living all over the world, the country itself is still over 200 million people. Oh, more, we are big. <laughs> we are big. We have Nigerians all over the world. Yet, the country is still over 200 million people. <laughs> That's huge. But well, I think I've been able to explain why. So, I must say again, not every Nigerian is bad. I'm a Nigerian who lives in Ghana. I live in Ghana because of work. Work brought me here, not because I just want to come and live here. And people still ask me, which one do I prefer? Definitely, I'm going to prefer my country because i'm going to be patriotic but that does not mean i like bad government you know you can be patriotic of no country but you don't like the government which is common in africa we africans don't like the government but we are patriotic of our country you know so it's a government thing it's not nigeria you know nigeria, we just have to be patriotic of our country but for government even here in ghana a lot of ghana ghanaians are patriotic of their country but they don't like the government, that's why they want a lot of things fixed in the country, you know. I get to see a lot of things. People still complain about bad roads, unemployment, and a lot of things they don't like about Ghana. But that does not mean they're not patriotic being Ghanaian. So it's the same thing with me. I love both countries, but I'm going to be patriotic of my country, which is Nigeria. So, 
if you have any other thing you know why maybe in nigeria you're watching this you're maybe you came to visit ghana or you visited ghana before or you currently live in ghana tell us why you are living in ghana and why you prefer to live in ghana okay what made you come to stay in ghana so we are brothers from the safe sub region nobody's trying to oppress anybody i know a lot of ghanaians living in nigeria i know ghanaians who are working For, funny enough the electricity thing didn't even matter to them what's their business with electricity i'm making my money so electricity is not a factor to them so people have their different preferences i, I got to hear about a ghanaian who lives in abuja and i was like relating with a young man and the young man said he prefers nigeria to ghana and i was even shocked that oh nigerians prefer ghana ghana ghanaians prefer nigeria so people it could be just one thing that made him say he prefers living in nigeria so i've seen a lot of like ghanaians who live in nigeria who are doing well who nobody's telling them you know oppressing them or trying to make them feel uncomfortable i've actually seen a lot of it so people have their different preferences like i said and i'm very very good I'm okay with both countries. I'm patriotic of being an African, but I'm going to be more patriotic being a Nigerian. Yes. So if you love my video or if this video has been helpful, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so you're notified when I post more videos. So bye.